Good day, peoples here from Latvia, about 10k south of Ventspils. As you know, man beers are packing up here all the gear after a couple of nights in the bush house that we initially were so lucky to get during that booked out Latvian Baltic festival uh, uh, period. So the only thing is, it turns out the water it smells kind of rusty out here. I just took a shower. I smell kind of rusty, uh, rusty too. Now we'll be uh, heading out uh, east, away from uh, the calm western coast of Latvia in direction of Riga. Packing up the editing station here. This was my uh, lovely mouse mat. Now in our merch store, available. Special Mr. Moda mouse mat. Even bringing it along. It's a beautiful day. All right, let's get ready right out. You say goodbye to all the mozies. Okay, uh, <laughs> what a. Uh, Abbas. <laughs> no, Spikey is hello, right? Oh, what do you want to say? Atta. Uh, no, th uh, thank you. Paul Bye bye. bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. All right, so today we got about 230 kilometers uh, to go. We go one last time on the country road here. And we can say, let's -a go. Spills. Damn, stacks and stacks. Good old Baltic wood. Hey, I think that's the wood they burn. Uh, they burn in the Netherlands. This is bio wood for bio fire. It's green wood for green fire. Oh, this is nice. This is one of the routes I plotted get off the main road which has been wonderful but I can live with this that's why we still have a front tire like that eh Woo! I love these Baltic roads man like this big hole let me double check the strap it's looking rather weak roads tilted here though that's slippery this is typically where you can tip over how's it going back there hey Beauty out here, isn't it? Yeah. Hey? Mm. Yeah, see it was loosening up. Have some woda with with lemon in it. Is there something about the taste of the woda? Maybe a rusty lemon smell, I don't know. <laughs> Combine the sweet, no what is it? The sour and rusty and should be okay. How's the lemon edition? It kind of tastes like dirt now. Alright, here's your cocktail. Take that to the gym, huh? Now this is some funky vitamin water. They don't sell them like that. <laughs> oh, it's hot, eh? But I'm not complaining. No way, Jose. Pond. Sveiki. Riga, yeah. Riga, yeah. Checking the uh, the water. It's very brown looking. Ah. Huh. So you want to stick to our uh, alternative vitamin water? Cool. Then off we go. Little idyllic Irlava. But always, you still get sort of the Soviet blocks out here in the smallest of villages. Let's find a nice little spot to do some lunch, you can say. And we enter the idyllic, not an idyllic one, dirt road village of Snap Yi. Snap Yi? Snap Yi? And there's no tarmac here. This is out 
on the countryside, the wooden houses, the plastered houses. How long has life has been going on here? Nobody knows. But it's out of the way on this gravel road. Look at the barn. Stone. Whoa, that. Talk about asbestos over there, I reckon. <laughs> Beauty. Little ruin here. if this gets me where I want to go or if it's someone's property and it ends there. Because I saw another one of these by the road. Whoa! Big doggo. to chill by the windmill but <laughs> it's not gonna happen we'll have lunchkins by the puppies eh I was looking for a lake and then I saw the windmill <laughs> and then the, the, puppies the guardian dog all right hop on off that one looks nice the big fat one that's fine that was after the seeds. No, it's juicy. These are puppy seeds, but they're still wet. Yeah, that's just <laughs> nut. Yeah, have some of my seeds. Do people uh, eat uh, these or what? Yeah, but I think they're usually black. So they're not dry yet. Puppy seeds. It's crazy to think that uh, all of this uh, and, and further east used to be the eastern front because it's just all so beautiful. <laughs> And I'm gonna sweat. <laughs> A rusty sweat. the old church entrance or something cool pillar still there graveyard now this is a peaceful resting place so very well kept graveyard for uh, an out there one welcome to Yelgava as we ride over the Drixa river city where we're we gonna spend a couple of nights. Is that a seahorse sculpture? I think it is. Oh, it is an actual horse. Reminded me of the seahorse in the Bojack Horseman. It's like never overcrowded. The population in uh, Latvia isn't even two million people. And I imagine just like in Lithuania, the population has left uh, to work for cheap elsewhere in uh, Europe. Same thing, Dad happens in uh, Portugal. Sorry, Ah, uh, yeah? Got a new ride? It's just for, just for a bit of a change. Fair, fair enough. The Ukraine support sticker. C, that's R, S, S, E, E, E. Kura, B, E, D, E, D, Na, She. It's a R, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I gotta keep doing that alphabet. This is it. School Soviet blog. Jesus loves you. That's good to know. Look at this. These still have wooden doors out front. Wow. That is dope. Let's have a look see. 4661. Hey, buddy. Kitty. What's up, buddy? Hmm? You just chilling? It is hot, eh, buddy? Alright. We're at 53. 46 to 61 should be in here. It's a bit like uh, Biawa Wieza uh, when we're in Poland. 
Here we go. I've got the hee hee. The gun that looks deceive you, as you can see. Uh, pardon, pardon, Mot moto, no, no, Angel, Angelski, Latvia, moto, no, please, shh, 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 go, go, bloody tourists. Oh, in previous place, we stayed out, paid cash, 20 euros uh, a night, the impromptu place that they weren't renting actually at the moment, we we're lucky to find, as you know, this place is up for. 35. That's on booking. Do you know uh, how to work a stove from the 1940s? There was a fire? There's this rusty tap. There's no shower head. It's like just this hole with a tube. You open it up and just water comes. And there's this, 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 this trail of calcium and brown coming from the tube but hey other than that she'll be all good okay, go go up it's first door on the right it's open but why Stay to me. Ooh, nice and hot. I love these. This is like essential in Eastern Europe, it seems. Oh, weather's still toasty, eh? What time is it? Nine, nine o'clock now? Yeah. Life's good weather-wise now in the Baltics. Though, uh, my barber today said last year August was really cold, so one day to the other apparently it can end here. Isn't there like a whole yard over there? The pills is there. The palace? The pills? Is that what they call it? Ah, so that's why names end with pills in Latvia. It's not beer, after all. Comes from the Greek word polis. Ah. Right, Acropolis and Metropolis. So, kind of in the end means tap. So, this is the pills then? Yeah, whether it's a castle or a palace, but. So, as it turns out, Yelgavas Pilsor, Yelgavas Castle Palace is the biggest architectural monument in the Baltics. Burned down heaps of times, it's been completely destroyed, but it's always been. Rebuilt and renovated. Ah, but here I think we found uh, Yelgava's Lover's Bridge. I think that's what that means, right? When you got all the locks. I've seen this in multiple uh, countries. I think in Portugal they do this too. We can go down here. Come. Oh, there's Rainy Man. So in Lithuania, you had the Windy Man statues, and <laughs> here in Latvia, you have the Rainy Man statue. Now, that's actually pretty cool. I like this. Well done, art. Yeah, is it nice and dry? <laughs> yeah. It's 10 o'clock. The sun uh, hasn't gone under yet. I love that about the Baltics. The higher you get. I wasn't expecting it yet here for some reason, but uh, it's brilliant. 
I love these super long days. Ciao. So old town here really means still houses made of wood. Huh. Brilliant. <laughs>